Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a face of first impressions um, of all e.l.f. products. So recently I saw e.l.f. come to my Walmart. I never, it's like really hard to find e.l.f. here in Canada since Target closed because Target was like the main place you could get e.l.f. But the only time I see e.l.f. is some random drugstore or grocery store that's like super far away. Like, does that ever happen to you? Like you find like things you really want or brands that are not in your local stores in a store that you're only going to go to once and that's like really far away because like that happens to me all the time. So I really hope they keep it and they keep getting new e.l.f. products because I love e.l.f. and um, that was like the main reason I was sad that Target closed. So I picked up four products that I'm going to, you know, do a first impression on today. Um, a lot of these are just like really popular F elf products that have really great reviews. So yeah, so the four things that I picked up, I picked up these two first, so I took off the packaging, but this is the elf poreless face primer and this is supposed to be a really good face primer comparable to the Benefit Professional and I have this, I have a mini size of it and I really like it. I don't know if I would buy the full size because it's really expensive. Like this mini one was $13 but I'm hoping I like this better because of course it's a lot cheaper but you don't get as much product as you think you get because if you take this off you only have this and up until here there's it's just hollow so literally you only get this much product so definitely the packaging makes you look like you get a lot more but anyways it will still be you know cheaper than the professional so I'm hoping I really like this um, and then I got the elf illuminating palette now I tried this really quickly one of the shades just to film a video I tried this one yeah the pinky um, highlight and I really liked it, but like it wasn't, you know, a full like first impression because I did it just really quickly and I didn't really pay attention. I don't remember what this is supposed to be a dupe of, but I'll write it down here. I kind of forgot, but yeah, it's supposed to be a dupe of that. And then I got the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner in black, which I've been wanting to try for a really long time. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Um, and then I've also heard a lot of good things about the HD under eye setting powder. So I'm going to try that out as well. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to first try the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Obviously, it's the first step in your makeup routine. So I just got about like one pump and a half. Oh my god, why did I put that much? I don't think I need that much. But I put that much. Okay, feels kind of similar to the Benefit Professional. It smells like tea tree oil. That's what it smells like. I put like too much. Why did I put so much? This feels really similar to the poor professional. I feel like that really like kind of mattified my face. And made it really, really soft. I do feel like it filled in my pores a bit. Not too, too much, but I do feel like with the professional, like as well. I feel like it just kind of blurred it out a bit and kind of filled them in. So I feel like when I put um, foundation on top, it's gonna look a lot less poreful, if that's a word, and just more smooth. It definitely makes my nose look a lot less poreful too. I keep using that, but I really don't know if that's a word. It feels a bit more, like, sticky um, than the Benefit Professional, because I feel like when you put the Professional, it feels, like, really set and almost, like, finishes, like, to a powder finish right before you put your foundation. It's, like, it doesn't stay sticky. I feel like this is staying a bit um, more sticky, but I'm going to give it, you know, a couple minutes, and then I'll come back. All right, so I just did my brows, and I look, like, crazy because my face is, like, plain and really white and then I just have like really prominent brows but I did my brows with my favorite brow pencil this is the L'Oreal 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 brow stylist definer I love it it's amazing so just did that and I let it set for a few minutes while I did that and it did kind of set but it's still not like completely like 
like a powder finish. I feel like the Benefit Professional kind of dries to a powder finish. Um, this is still kind of sticky, um, but it feels really nice and really smooth. But it is like not 100% set. Um, and it does smell like tea tree oil. Not too much, like I feel like I don't smell it anymore, but when I was applying it, I definitely smelled that. But so far, I really like this. I'm going to apply my foundation, so I'll be back. Okay, so I just applied a layer of my covered up foundation, and then I applied my under eye concealer. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. And now I'm going to try the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder to set my concealer. Um, I was really hesitant on getting this because I saw that it was like kind of like a pinky tone powder and then it had some glitter in it. But from the reviews I read online, they said the glitter doesn't show. Or like the videos I watched, I don't really read reviews. I just really wanted to try it and it wasn't expensive at all. So yeah, and it comes with this little brush and I'm for sure not going to use this brush. Like that's crazy. But I think this would be a perfect brush. Oh my god, I'm so excited. A perfect brush for cleanup on the nails. Hashtag when you're a nail polish YouTuber and you find everything perfect for doing nails. Pull to open. Okay, so that took me a good two whole minutes to figure out how to open that. And now I'm going to tap some in the top. Cap. And then I'm going to use my Real Techniques setting brush. Oh, this is so messy. This is why I don't like loose powders like that much. And just apply that under the eyes. That just really brightened my under eye. I don't see any glitter when I look at it. Like I really, I really don't see any glitter. And it just really mattified my under eyes and brightened them. Like do you see a difference? I feel like it's just so much brighter. It looks like lifted. I don't know how to explain it. I really like that. Definitely, definitely brightening it up. Brightening it up. You don't see like any pink tones, like it doesn't look like pink under the eyes. And you don't see any glitter, like it kind of brushes off, but it just really, really brightens it up. I really like that. I'm so excited. It sounds so monotone. I'm like, I'm so excited, yay. <laughs> But that just looks really bright. I really like that. So I'm excited to use this more. But my first impressions, I really like it. I really do. And I didn't think I would because it has like sparkles and it's like pink. But it just really, I feel like it just really brightens. The only thing is, it's so messy. Like I'm trying to put the powder back in because I put way too much. It just gets everywhere and it's a really 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 tiny package it's like dropping everywhere that's the only downside to this so far is it's just really messy so so far i really like that i'm really excited about this brush because i could do perfect cleanup with this brush so yeah. okay so now i'm just going to put um some bronzer just to kind of warm up my face and i will be back to try another thing Okay, so I just applied my bronzer, the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this. It just it has a subtle shimmer, so it just gives you a bit of a glow, and it smells like pina colada, which is amazing. Cause like, yeah, I'm gonna. S this smells like pina colada. It smells so good, and like when you're applying it, it's just like you get a whiff of it, and it's just so good. So I applied that, and then now I'm going to try the Elf Illuminating Palette. Um, I don't want too much, so I'm not doing too much today. Um, so I'm going to try the skin tone one that just, it's kind of just gives you like a natural glow. Wait, what? 
Why does it look pinky? It's giving me like a pinky glow. I guess it gives like a pinky glow, even though it looks like a skin color. But it definitely looks pink, and I wasn't expecting that at all because there is a pinky one there um, up here. Okay, yeah, that one definitely gives like a more brighter pink glow. But this is definitely pinky. Like, I feel like it has pink shimmers in there. I see pink shimmer. But it's definitely pretty. I mean, it's not subtle. Like, it's, it's subtle, but it's like not unnoticeable, if you know what I mean. There's definitely like literal pink shimmers in there. I was expecting more of like a skin color, but it's like a skin color powder with pink shimmers. It's really odd. I definitely wasn't expecting that, but it is pretty. I just I don't love how there's like like pink shimmers like popping out at you. Like on my nose, I see bright like pink shimmers. So here are all the shades. This is the kind of bronzy one right here that I feel like would be good for darker skin tone. This one is the one that I just applied, like the skin color one right there, and I feel like it just, it has bright pink shimmers in it. Like, I like it, but I kind of, I just wasn't expecting it. I feel like, I don't know, it's not as subtle and kind of skin tone glowy as I thought it was going to look. And this is the pink one right there that's like a subtle pink shimmer that's really pretty. And the ivory one is right here, which is like an ivory subtle shimmer which i think will be pretty as well so yeah that's the highlight i think it's pretty but it's not what i expected the last thing that i'm going to be trying the last thing i have here is the elf cream eyeliner in black i'm really excited to try this because i've heard a lot a lot a lot of good things about this eyeliner and i've never tried it i've never actually tried a gel like cream eyeliner before either I've only tried liquid and pencil, so this is also exciting for that reason as well. And I'm not going to be using the brush that it comes with just because I have a angled eyeliner brush that's a bit better than it. Like, it's not bad. I feel like I would use it, but I do have, like, a bigger angled eyeliner brush that I'm going to use. That's, like, filled up to the rim. I wasn't expecting that either, um, but I'm really excited to use this. So I'm kind of going to what i'm gonna kind of zoom in so i'm gonna get it on my brush Ooh, it feels creamy very creamy that just kind of slid on there that was really smooth i don't know if this brush is actually that good i feel like it's separating i feel like i'll try the other the one that it came with on my other eye this just looks really nice i love how it's like matte because like when you use liquid aligners, it kind of looks shiny sometimes. This just looks like matte and creamy. Sorry if you see like a creepy doll in the back. I don't know why my parents put creepy dolls as like decorations. I'm kind of really loving this. Oh no, I need a good eyeliner brush. That wasn't good. Okay, so the brush kind of got wonky and kind of, you know, made it a little bit messy, so I'm gonna clean it up, but I really love this eyeliner. It's like jet black and it's creamy and it's amazing and I really like it. I just feel like I need to find a really good eyeliner brush for it. So if you have any suggestions on like eyeliner brushes for gel liner, like cream liner, let me know because this one's not doing it but on my other eye i will try the one that it came with to see if it's a little bit better i'm gonna clean up and then come back to do the second eye okay so i just cleaned this one up and i was like looking at myself in the mirror and i was like oh my god i really like this highlight like it's definitely not what i was expecting it's like a skin color highlight but with like pink shimmers but it gives like a pinky nudie glow and i really like it so i'm really liking it and I'm also really liking the under eye setting powder because it's giving me just a really bright effect. And I love the primer. So, so far I'm loving everything. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to, and I'm loving the eyeliner too. I just need a better brush. So I'm going to do the other eye with the brush that it came with. 
Um, but I'm not gonna like focus too much on it being so even because I feel like I don't have a good brush. It's not gonna, you know, be 100% even, but I am going to try it with the brush it came with. I feel like it's a little bit easier to apply it with the brush it came with. The brush is not bad. Like, I feel like, you know, there's definitely better brushes out there. But it's working. Like, it's doing the job. I mean, a good eyeliner brush is going to be on my wish list now, but it's doing the job. It's a bit tricky. Okay, so I just finished up my eyeliner because um, it was going to be out of focus, so I just finished it up quickly off camera, put my mascara, cleaned up my eyeliner. So I've tried all four products so far. I actually love all of them. Um, my favorite would probably have to be the cream liner. Like, I'm actually loving it. It gives a lot of a softer look than a liquid liner, and it's just so creamy, and it glides on, and it's buttery. And I feel like it's just, I feel like I'm going to really like it if I get a good brush, because, and if I get more experience, like more practice, because it is my first time trying cream liner. So if I practice more and maybe get a better brush, because this isn't really doing it, I think I'll actually just... Be in love with this because I already really like it. I didn't wear a primer because I'm not doing much today, but I will wear a primer and then you know, kind of right here how well it stays because today it's not going to be like a really good test. Um, it's like raining outside. Um, the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder, I'm also really liking it, really brightens and maddens the under eye, and you don't see any sparkle. Um, it just really awakens your face, so I'm really liking it. It's just really messy. The e.l.f. primer, I'll also kind of update here whether it kind of made my foundation stay on longer, but so far it's really similar to the Professional. It doesn't dry as like of a powdery finish. It's still kind of sticky, but it does blur out the pores and kind of fill them in, and so far I'm really liking it as well. And the last thing is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette, which I was kind of not expecting this color to be as pinky as it was, but the more I'm looking at it and the more I'm wearing it, the more I'm liking it. I will update also if I'm liking it, you know, after I wear it some more, but it just wasn't what I was expecting. This shade is looks like a nudie kind of your skin color type of highlight, and I thought it was going to be a lot less subtle, but it's like a nudie you know, powder, but with pink shimmer. So it's more, you know, vibrant and it's more poppin' than I was expecting, but I still really like it. And I also like this one um, that I tried a couple days ago. So I feel like this is a good drugstore highlighter and it's a lot less, it's a lot more subtle than my Becca Champagne Pop, which is the only highlighter I have in my collection so far. But yeah, that was my first impressions on these four products. I really hope you enjoyed this video and so far I just I, I'm really liking all of them and I'm liking how my face turned out I think it's I just I love all of them so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this Elf First Impressions and if you've tried these products let me know down below and if you have a suggestion for a good eyeliner brush that's not too expensive then let me know because I'm really loving this eyeliner I just need a better brush and more practice and I literally kind of love all these products but I'll definitely update you the more I wear them so yeah, hope you enjoy. Bye.